Today is June 4th, 2022. It is day 320 of web development. And yesterday, I didn't do audio on my video because I wasn't feeling well. So, I'll just explain what I did yesterday. So, I made this. I'm really proud of it. It's so cute and so pretty. Um, so, I'll just show you what it looks like in the YouTube results. Um, so, it's just basically a card. And then when you hover over it, um, the title of the characters here. And then a paragraph about the character, and then add to cart. And when you hover over heart, add to cart, it changes slightly the color to a little gray. Um, and then when you hover over the card in general, it moves two pixels to the top, and then this overlay shows up. Um, that's what I did yesterday, and I'm planning on doing more today. So um, I think maybe I want to do like more. I do want. I want to do something short today. So I think I'm just gonna fork this result. So get the code pen and I'll just go over here and fork it and then I'll just make multiples I'll just literally copy and paste it and change the image and then maybe play around with the display a little bit but yeah that's the plan for today so what day is it today day 320 right so I'll just change that to 320 um, and then I'll go to my HTML and I'll get the card right um, and I'll just copy it three times so I can have like three cards all right here we go and then all I'll do is I'll go to the container um, and give it oh wait no because it's not interesting interesting so I'll have to make another container so this would be like where everything is displayed and then I'll do class and I'll give it like a grid container so that I can make a grid out of these cards and then I can give it a grid gap. Um, let me figure out when this ends. So over here, I'll make one and then put this in here and then um, there we go. So I'll just go over here and do grid container and give it a display of grid and give it grid template columns um let's see repeat three times one fr so there's three columns and then give it a grid gap of let's say one em so there's space between each card right nice 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 let me open it up over here in debug mode Okay, now it's looking really nice. And then I'm going to go to Unsplash and try to get some more character pictures or whatever. <sighs> but I need something more like this. So let me see. Um, no. Maybe he has more in his profile. Um. Oh, that's it. Oh, well, okay. Well, then let's see what. Um. <sighs> Is that how you spell Fortnite? I was. I haven't played Fortnite in so long that I forgot how to spell it. No game characters no I need something but this is not what I'm looking for Let me do 3D. Uh, not really. Why don't? Why isn't there anything? Ooh, I like this one. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Well, I'm not really finding anything right now. This is the closest thing. 
you know what? It doesn't have to be characters. It could also be, like, maybe, like, power things or something. Uh, what the heck? Okay, maybe I could do, like, something like this. So, copy image address. And then go back here. And I'll give it, uh, I'll give this card an ID of card two so that I could change the background. And I'll give this card an ID of card three so I could change the background. And then I'll go over here and do, like, hashtag to target the ID card two. And I'll just paste in the link of the thing over here real quick. And then I'll go back to card one and just get everything from there. Copy it and just paste it in here. And then just delete the link that I already had here. And replace it with the new link of the image. And then I should pop up there. I just don't like it. Ew. It just like ruins the theme. Okay, I need like blue images. Maybe something like this. Okay, maybe we'll do, like, not just characters. Maybe we'll do, like, a power. So maybe, like, uh, a heart power? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, what can we make up? Like, um... Uh... Let's call it... Um... Afro... Dite. Hello? Oh no! I want it. I want the other one. Aphrodite? I said Af. What? Aphrodite. Um. I don't even know. And then. Maybe I should do something like that. Um. Ooh. This one fits the theme. Copy image address. Change the card. Let me just paste this again. Paste that in there. Call it card three. Take this image. Put it back in here. Oops, delete that zero. Okay. Um. Oh my god, it ruins it. Maybe I should have just left it with three cards and that's it. Because I can't find images that are really nice. <gasps> Whoa, that's really nice. That fire one. Um, we'll do that then, maybe. And it looks weird. Maybe we'll do... Oh, would you look at that? I actually do something different. Okay, I'm gonna just take these then. And then just replace it. I'll do something completely different. <laughs> I'll just take the first image and replace that too. So I'll take card one. Put that in here. Um, what is it? White colored. So I'll take this one too. Right click, copy image address. Where are we? Go back to card two. Since I can't find any other character cards. Um, and then this one. Hopefully it's not the same one. No, it's not. Alright, and then I'm thinking of maybe switching the second one with the first one. So some contrast there. Okay, show that up. Nice. And then... Um, I'll probably I'll give it something like um Ivy um uh um gone 
gag, gag, gal, gallo. Ooh. And then, um, over. Okay, run that. Over, a gallo, ivy. Alright, and then, let me change the linear gradient. I just literally don't even bother. I just search up a CSS uh, generator for linear gradients because I am not going to learn 5,000 color combinations. It's just not happening. So, um, I just search one up and I make it up. So, let me change this color to maybe something like, like this. Some like white. No, I want um right, and then I want something like cream. So something like that, but then this one needs to be white. But it can't be white, it has to be cream. Let me see. Palette generator. Yeah, something like this. And then let me get like another shade. Okay, so paste that in there for this. And then I'll take this shade and paste that in there for that. And then, yep, that's what I wanted. Okay, so let me go here, copy this. CSS, go back to my code. Um, and just paste it in there for the background. Okay. Look something like that. Isn't that really beautiful? Anyway. Um, then I will do what? Oh, I'll make it responsive. Because if you shrink this, you see that it's not responsive. Like, you can barely see the other two cards. So in order to do that, I'll scroll all the way down to my CSS. I'll do at media max width. 800 pixels, I can't even speak. Um, 800 pixels, and then I'll do... What was it? It was grid container. Hopefully that that's what it was. Let me scroll up and check. Grid container, yeah. So grid container, and change the number of columns with a grid template columns property to maybe two columns once it hits 800 pixels. So see? Beautiful. And then once it hits, let's say, 600 pixels, then it could be to one column which is 1FR. By the way, um, up here, I said repeat three times 1FR, but this is the same thing as saying 1FR, 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 right? Um, because repeat 1FR is just saying, okay, divide my container into three equally spaced columns. So that's what it is. So now let's run that. And when we do that, it's obviously lower than 600 pixels. So it's 1FR. But then once we hit 800 pixels, it becomes two columns, right? And then once we go full screen, right, it's still just normal. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's enough for today. Now, bye.